Kembo kembo na tatanzambi ya mazu. Kimfumo kia kuisa. Yengi family. Yengi. Uh, I'm doing this on Zoom. I was going to do a live, but tatanzambi, because of what happened last time, uh, I wanted people to focus on what I'm about to say. Uh, it's going to be a part two to uh, about my father's business. And I know Yaya 
has been uh, doing some videos as well to to break things down about this delusion that people have about what's coming. And, you know, uh, before I begin, I want to first of all give Kimbo and Golo to Tatanzambi and Pungu to Lendo, Akongo Yabe, that he would watch over this broadcast, Tatanzambi, that you will bring wisdom and knowledge and one of that would flow as to the things that are happening in this time, as things are moving rapidly. We give you all the glory and glory to Golo, to you, Tata, that we will be able to move forward and do the righteous thing in this time. And get that. I give honor to Kuswa Kongo, the Mona Velala, the 24 elders, the righteous of Isolele, the righteous descendants down to Adama, righteous uh, ancestors. I give honor to all of those doing the righteous work of Tatanzambi, Al Congo, and those who are doing it. And I give honor to those who are doing their best to bring this truth out in this time uh, among all the lies and deceptions. And as we can see, as the Most High continues to do more and more things, you're seeing more and more excuses for things that aren't, that people have been deceived about, about what's really going on behind the scenes. And, you know, uh, people are believing a lot of things that they're hearing. And then I know it's funny, you're realizing it's all a bunch of baloney, but see, you know, that's the concept is that you've been conditioned to not to accept the things that aren't real and to ignore or to pretty much uh, be a, called a fool for calling it the things that are. Uh, like I said, conditioning about what people learn is very important when you're trying to create a mindset of control. As we prepare to honor the Tanzambi when he sent down the Mona Villala to uh, uh, Africa, I, I did agree with my Yaya that the Most High does reside in Africa. I was there and I've seen some things and this is the thing that they want to hide because and, and bring so many lies and, and so many uh, deceptions because this is why so many militaries are there because they know that Tatan Zambi is preparing to uh, do some things uh, and they're wanting to stop it because, you know, they think they're going to win, as, as I say, you know, they're prepared to think that they're going to win and they're going to try their best to defeat those who are uh, in the process of trying to bring out uh, this whole concept of change. You know, like I said, we, we know this is a war against Tatan Zambi versus evil. There have been people who have been made to believe that they are on the side of the creator when they're really on the side of the devil and don't know it. There have been people who have been made to believe false truths about the kingdom and heaven when they really don't understand that they've been given lies and deception and secret. And that's part of the reason why people are having a hard time believing what they want to believe and why they say, oh, they're walking away from religion. Oh, they walk away from God. You're going to go to hell, this type of things. And what people don't understand is because they don't know how to how to properly read their Bibles or their scriptures is that the devil's kingdom is here. And it is stated in the Bible that his kingdom would be here because he is the prince of the air and that he would masquerade in so many different ways. You know, he has many different names. He has many different functions. He has many different things that he's doing. But he's been given this permission by the creator himself. And people don't understand this is all part of it. And it's very easy to manipulate people when you can look like you're doing good in the public's eye, but then uh, you recluse yourself to doing wickedness and evil where the public eye cannot be seen. And this is where not having the concept of knowing the Holy Spirit is hurting many people because the Holy Spirit is created in such a way that People can't hide things from you, no matter what, who they are, or what they are. The Holy Spirit is designed to where things can be revealed that they can't keep secrets from you. People cannot keep secrets. People cannot tell you false truths. Things must be revealed with the Holy Spirit. Okay, you can know, you can know secrets about your pastor. You can know secrets about your family. You can know secrets about your marriage and relationship. You can know many things that people that they keep to themselves and hide 
and you're one and they're wondering how do you know that i've never said anything nobody knows anything how did you do this how do you know these things you must be dabbling in sorcery which is exactly what the messiah said what people would say to those who actually have this power which is why he had to say that satan can't cast out satan okay the biggest issue that we're running into in this time okay is the fact that so many people have been meant to believe their own beliefs that they're leaning on their own understanding as we've been told and they don't realize that they're leaning on their own understanding and because they're leaning on their own understanding is why you cannot convince them that what they believe is wrong okay they've always uh, see the, the biggest issue that we always have been conditioned to do in this society is to assume that we have the connection with the creator. How often have you heard somebody say to you, oh, I know God's got it. I know God's gonna, gonna uh, take care of this. I know the, uh, God's got you. Oh, the, oh yeah, God's gonna take care of this. God's gonna, oh, I know God. Oh, God knows you, he's gonna do that. How many times have you heard people say that? And they really don't know for a fact, have, did you ask the most high? Did you, did you check with him to see if he was a part of it or not? And see, and you'll say, oh, yes, I know. I know God's going to take care of me. And, da, 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 da. and you don't even know that some of the things you're going through are because he's actually bringing judgments. He's actually chastising. He's actually causing the problem that you're praying about. Because you're living in unrighteousness, unawares, or you, you're doing things, you're, you have unrepented sins that you think you've repented but you have not okay and this is where the devil has deceived the whole world into convincing people that they have the connection that they really don't because that connection with the creator is going to allow you to do things that many people will never be able to understand it's going to allow you to comprehend things that many people will never comprehend. The majority of Christians cannot comprehend the Bible because there's the most high is not with them. Because when the most high is with you, Tatanzami, when the creator is with you, when Yahweh Kongo, you want to call God, you want to call him Lord. When he is with you, you comprehend the things that he's trying to say. You comprehend them. Because he is going to make it plain in your understanding of what it is that you're supposed to be doing. That's why when you're called to do the most highest work, when you're saying you're about the father's business, you must do the father's business and complete the father's business. When, when, and I know when people who debate Noah, Noka, and the flood, and they want to keep saying, I know Simon Toko, who was the child of Revelation 12, never doubted it, never denied it, okay? Um, there were those who choose it, like I said, many spirits, will teach, there's many spirits out there. Are you really listening to the right one? It's, it's up to you. You know, I'm not going to sit here and debate that today, but the concept is the other to understand. The Most High gave Noka a job to do. And when he was given this responsibility, and this is even for myself, not just to anybody the understanding was you must complete the mission and you had a time frame to complete to complete it in okay he was given a certain time that he had to complete his mission to prepare for what was to come and this is the thing that's going on with many people who have been given assignments by the zombie by the most high you have been, they have been given time limits before the most high will begin to do his the next step phases see at this time scientists have caused many much confusion to what's going on around the world because they have silenced the, the scientists that that disagree so you go along with the ones that are unanimous but there are those who are saying no this this something's not right about this but they silence those people okay there's a reason for that because what these other scientists, many of them are proving is we are wrong. There is something else going on here that we cannot comprehend it. But they don't want people to know that. Because then it proves the fact that there must be a creator involved. 
there must be a, another power involved for those that are trying to be kept asleep. Okay. That's why the things that we say, the things that we talk about, the things that we bring up in this time uh, are very, uh, uh, how should I say, controversial to those who believe that they have the knowledge of the true things of this world. And they're always going to pass it aside and say, this is, this is false. I learned this. I learned that. I learned this. But the problem is you have, you have uh, trusted the knowledge that has been given to you as fact. And I'm talking not just about in the schools and in education, but in religion and beliefs. You have been convinced that this information that I'm receiving from those that I, that I believe in, it's the truth. And it has to be the truth and nothing but the truth. They're not going to lie to me. But see, what you don't understand is when it comes to a system that functions the way this system does, there are always lies. Because if there weren't lies, then this system couldn't function the way that it is functioning. That's why now, as the lies are unraveling, things are changing. But they're still going to keep the narrative alive for those who don't pay attention. You're under a spell for a reason. Okay? And when I say spell, I mean you truly trust those that have been put in front of you and those who say that they come from the creator as well. And you don't question because you've been taught not to do that, even though the creator himself says question every spirit to see if they come from him. Now, this is the whole concept of keeping people silent that know the truth and allow people to speak that know they're teaching a lie. Because if you don't question, then you believe. But if you don't believe, you remain silent. And this is why now those who have the opportunity that don't have to remain silent anymore are blowing away the whole concept. Okay. You know, I don't know the whole story about what happened with Nick Cannon and some of these other people. But the one thing that I've always said, the numbers can outweigh anything. If those who stand up and force, okay, if you know that what's being taught in Hollywood and those things, then without us, people don't understand, without the Banabertu, without the Black people, things fall apart. But there's still too many people that stand in fear of what happens to them. And that's why the Kuswa Kong, we saw yeah, Jesus, he might call him Jesus, whatever. He said, Fear not the one that can cause the body to be destroyed, but fear the one that destroys the body and the soul. Too many people are fearing in this world, the dragon, the fallen ones. They're fearing them and, the, and these spirits and whatever and demons that are involved, but masquerading like they don't. Saying that, oh yeah, no, but we believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's a lie. Because if they did, they wouldn't hold back against those that they know are telling lies. They wouldn't hold back against those that they know are manipulating people into the, and, and, and forcing people by threats and by means of uh, control. Because you got to understand, these people are doing this. They have their time coming. Their time is up. This is why they're panicking so much, because they know it. But they will not let the world come unraveled. But the Most High is going gonna, is gonna to expose it all. Okay. Let me share my screen. I'm going to go into... Uh, 
the book of, uh, sorry, tune it to, sorry. Of second Ezra. Now this is when Ezra was in Babylon. And I want you to pay close attention because this is 13 years after the Mosai destroyed uh, King Solomon's uh, Jerusalem, the one that was built by him, where we went into captivity, okay? And we all know there's a question mark where that location is. I can debate it, at, but we're gonna talk about it right here. It says, now remember, when the Mosai had the kingdom of Congo destroyed, the wealth also went to the, the riches also went to the Europeans. So it's a similar thing. In the 13th year after the ruin of the city, I was in Babylon and laid trouble upon my bed and my thoughts. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter three, as you see. And my thoughts came over my heart for I saw the desolation of Zion, and Zion, the wealth of them that dwelt and the wealth of them that dwelt at Babylon. Okay, so when the same thing, when in Bonzo Congo, uh, was destroyed by the Portuguese, okay? This is the same thing that you saw when we would go to cities like Rome, England. The wealth of the Gentiles was present because of where did it come from? And my spirit was sore moved so that when I began to speak words full of fear to the Most High and said, O oh, Tatanzambi, who bears rule, thou speakest at the beginning when thou didst plant the earth, and they in that they self alone that, and commandest the people, and gavest a body unto Adama without soul, which was in the workmanship of thine hand, and didst breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made a living before thee. And thou ledest him to paradise, which thy right hand had planted before over the earth came before ever the earth came forward. And unto him thou gavest commandments to love thy way, okay? And he transgressed and immediately appointed, the, and immediately thou appointed death in him and his generations of whom came nations, tribe, people, and kindreds of, of number. Why is this important, okay? Because we're showing you that no matter what you wanna believe about the whole concept of the Messiah figures, it's because there were more than one. Just people understand that. I mean, yes, we have Messiah, but there were other Messiah figures. Okay. That once you don't do what the Most High commands you to do, there is there is death involved. And I hear Yaya. He was talking about Yaya was talking about the different types of death, and he said Satan didn't understand it. Because in reality, okay, this is why Kuswa Congo was able to defeat the understanding that when it comes to death, there are those who die and stay forever dead in the spirit. And then there are those who die whose spirit never dies. So your flesh may die, but your spirit never dies, which means that you never have to experience the torment that comes with the wicked death, okay? But you, you will experience the blessings that the Most High has promised you in his kingdom. And this is where the devil has been made to convince people that many of them are gonna experience this when he knows he's played a game on many people. Because the reality is your sin causes death and you must seek the righteous repentance and this is where the devil has deceived many because there are those who think they have been repented of but yet they serve the wrong god and this is where many people have been led astray because the right god the true god of creation his power dwells within you to do the changes that you need and to make the differences that you need to make in such a way that the world will not comprehend it like the way Kuswa Kongo Isaiah Jesus did. Where it was like, wow, how can this be? He raised the dead, he did, you know. And I, I'm gonna go back to uh, 
Matthew 11, Matthew 11, 5. Let me do that real quick because I wanted to show you where when you say you're doing the most high, sorry. When you say you're doing the most high work, okay. Remember John the Baptist was in prison. I know, I know what people are gonna say. I'm not signaling or nothing. I'm not part of that organization. It's just, my neck is just a massage of my neck. They would never be, I'll never be a part of that. Uh, and they're always after me. I was gonna, so I gotta show something that they did. So remember, yeah, y'all wanted the Baptista was in prison. And even he at this time was questioning whether the Messiah had really come. Because he's like, hey, I'm I'm in prison. I'm in jail. And I did all these good things for the most high. And here I here I sit and was beheaded. Okay. But that was his role. He his his work was finished. And this is where you a lot of people ended up in like this. You don't, in, in a world that belongs to wickedness, your exit, your, your time when you finish the Most High's work is not going to be applauded by those who seek to do wickedness or those who, do, who live in deception. Okay? This is why you saw the ending for Kimbangu and Toko. Okay? It wasn't like the Vatican applauded his, oh, yes. Great job. No, because they were not the righteous people. It wasn't like the Knights Templars or anybody else or the CIA who are supposed to be Christians who believe many people are Christians. They didn't applaud what Simon Toko did. They didn't even want you to know what he did. Why? Because those who truly have a righteous intent are never celebrated by those who want to dwell in a world of wickedness, where everything is looked at based upon the, what is valued that isn't valued by the kingdom. And that's why all what you're saying is such a shock to people. Because you've had too many pastors out there that's all about them. They're not about the creator, but they act like he, they were. You have a lot of leaders out there the same way. It's all about them, not the creator, okay? And so when we're talking about the Most High's work, here is something that needs to be indicated when you're working for the Most High, when you're doing his work. He told Ya'ani, I came in and sent a servant saying, and he said in his response, and this is exactly what Toko said. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. How many of your pastors in your churches can claim Matea 11.5 in their, in their resume of the Most High's work, of, of, the, of the God of creation's work? Are they making the blind restore their sight? Are the lame walking? The lepers are cleansed. People don't even know what leprosy really is because they can't hit that concept. The deaf here, people who are deaf, the dead are raised up. Okay, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Many pastors sit in their churches where they have established churches, okay? And they they preach when you come through the doors and you start, they start preaching. Okay. The emphasis is here is that the poor are more important than the people with money. Do you really see that going on in the churches? The poor and those who are destitute are the ones that need to hear the word more than people who claim to be blessed with wealth, right? But yet, who are the most important people in these churches? Who is lifted up? Who, who has their names always on the mention? 
when the pastor speaks or a list of donor or members, significant contributors, are they poor or are they wealthy? Or do they have, or they have substance? Okay. And blessed is he whosoever should not be offended in me. This is the issue. That's why when we talk about the Messiah being black, there's offense taken. Why? Because that's not possible. Oh, and oh, it doesn't matter what color he was. He was whatever color you want him to be. How can that be? Okay. That's why Kuswa Kongo Yesaya, the one we're talking about, people take offense. I don't know who that is. I know Jesus Christ. I know. I don't know who that who you're talking about because the reality is, Shaitani, in Second Corinthians eleven, has done exactly what Paola said he was going to do: come and preach another Jesus, another gospel, another spirit. He even talked about how the the, the, the angels can masquerade as angels of lights and can have preachers masquerading the same way. What does a masquerade look like? A masquerade is when they're not giving you the full truth. They're giving you watered down scriptures. Like one person said, this Bible is way too big for you guys to keep repeating the same stuff over and over every year. Do you realize that there's a certain structure many pastors are conditioned to follow, even though they have more knowledge than what they tell you? But then that knowledge that they have, is it accurate? Go back to Second Ezra on this. And unto him thou gavest commandments. Wait a minute. I thought Masa was the only one that had commandments. I thought, how do, wait a minute. The commandments started from the beginning. To love the way, to love thy way, to love, this is when we say you a way. Are you in the way? Do you love the most high's way? Which he transgressed. And people are transgressing this every single day. Okay. This is why he said, and immediately thou appointest death in him. So when you transgress against the most high, death is your judgment. What kind of death? This is where you get uh, bad things happen to your body, your, your mind, your all kind of stuff. You're in a spiritual, you can have, because Adam did not die physically. He had a spiritual death, okay? And this is what people don't understand is many people claim to be alive in the Christ or alive with the Most High, and they are spiritually dead. Because if they were, in fact, alive in serving, in serving a living God, many people would have a hard time being around you because there are many people who walk in darkness that can't be around the light, period. That's why Kuswa Kongo, Yusaya, was always in confrontation with those who were, had dark hearts. You're always going to be in confrontation with people that have dark hearts when you have the light in you. You're always going to be quick to discredit people when you're not rich up in the, the true God of Christ. That's why many people who have wisdom and knowledge that true hitters, they just sat there and listened to you talk stupidness and be like, whatever. Okay, keep going. That's why Isaiah said, hey, just let them go. Let them keep talking. Okay. That's what I, I've learned to do. Let them keep talking. Because the reality is to love the way of the Most High means you do not want to do things against his commandments. You do not want to do things that will violate any relationship you have with him. This is why you were taught to assume that you are righteous so you wouldn't know that you're messing up. 
That's why you always condition, oh, my sins are covered. Oh, I have Jesus, I, blah, blah, blah. I have this. So that you don't see that the things that you are doing in your life are actually offending and not blessing. They're causing, they're bringing judgment and not blessings. But yet you, you don't understand that the devil and his masquerade will make you look like you're being blessed for negativity. So that he masquerades in the concept of false, false rewards. Captain Zombie has made it very clear to me. Why would he give a sinner? Those who transgress against him blessings. Why would you be rewarded for wickedness? Each wickedness and righteousness, that's why the world is so in conflict. This is why there's such a disparity of wealth, because you don't understand. Satan will always raise up those who loved him the most and will do his bidding the most and hide themselves the best. The most high, does he reward people in secret? Yes. Do you come to him in secret? Does he reward you? Yes. But is it something that's going to benefit or hurt you? Because the world is full of things that they feel like they're being benefited from. And it's going to be destroyed. That's why he says, in Isaiah 2, the work of their hands that they that they glorify is gonna, they're all gonna be destroyed. But the zombie, Yahweh Congo, he's coming to destroy, not to build, like, like, he, like he did in the days of Noah. But then you have those saying, Well, I know I'm saved. How do you know you're saved? This is the problem. Oh, because I did this, because I did that, because I know, I know, I know. Wait a minute. It's not about what you know. It's about what the creator shows you and what is done to indicate you have your salvation. Because those that have salvation, okay, their lives are a struggle to those who do not. Look at what happened with the disciples. Look at what happened with Isaiah. That's why they didn't want to tell you about the martyrdom of Bartholomew. They were offended that he healed this woman. It, the one was the one king, well, you, you did my daughter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The other guy comes along. What happened here? He's not worshiping one of our gods. Are you crazy? Killed him. When you really do Matthew 11, 5, <clears throat> there are those who are going to be grateful, but there are going to be so many more who are going to be, what? Who is this person? Are they practicing witchcraft? Are they doing sorcery? What are they into? We've never seen this before. What's really going on here? Questioning it, doubt. And every people walk after their own will and did wonderful things before thee. What are the wonderful things? Massive structures, all kind of, you see that today, massive buildings. This is why they have to hide, the, they hide scientists hide this false notion about man and evolution when they knew the people before were actually smarter than the people now they don't know they don't tell you that okay and did wonderful things before and despised thy commandments and this is exactly the same thing that is happening now the people that are working in this world today don't love the most highest commandments even though they act like they're living by them, because if they did, 
you would notice that they are not the same for real. You would notice that they are doing things unimaginable. You would notice that they have an understanding that's unparalleled to anyone else that can make preachers look like fools. That can make theologians look ignorant. Because if they love the Most High command, they would first of all know who the real Most High is. This is the problem. And they would understand how he functions when it comes to his way. His way is not the desire of anything of this world. That was given over to the wicked. This is the issue. And what was the reward that was given to those who despise his commands? The flood. But now comes the fire. And it came to pass as every of them that as death was to Adama, so was the flood of thee. So there were very few righteous people. See, this is why you got to understand. There were very few righteous people that made it through. So it's going to be similar. And it happened when they that were dwelt upon the earth began to multiply and had gotten them many children and were a great people. They began again to be more ungodly than the first. Whoa, wait a minute. So now the generations that came after the flood were more wicked than the generations before. When did this change? Now, when they lived so wickedly before, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abana Abraham, one man. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will. So wait a minute. The Most High, what is he saying here? Only shows his will to those who he truly loves. And in this case, with all of the people that lived in the 70 tribes and all of the people that were there, one man was chosen that the Most High really loved. That's why we have to stop listening to those that continue to bring false truths out here in this world. The Most High only loves a few. Not every, God, oh, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that who believed in him should never perish, but have eternal life, right? It's in the New Testament, modifications of Rome. Even in others contradicted, the scriptures contradict themselves in the New Testament. People, why is there a contradiction? Because there's stuff that's missing. Because Kuzma Kongo, Isaiah said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, teach those thy most high's commandments. Teach them the law. Oh, he did away with it. The most high loves those that truly teach people to walk uprightly and to stay away from the wicked thing and to not encourage you to indulge in the worldly things. This is why they had to convince you, oh, these things came from the creator. These things, they, wait a minute. What is the purpose of this? What does it benefit him to do these things? Because you don't question the spirit. 
why did the Most High need us to do these type of things? Most High, did you do this? Did you ask the Most High, did he bring sports like this into the world? Or business, the way he does businesses and, and all the different things that are happening now. Because if you look in the, the host, the teaching on the Kikongo lesson that the Tokos you did, we had a way that we did our businesses. We had a way that we had banks. We had, we had money. But it wasn't done in the way of the worldly way. But now you've been convinced the worldly way of the banks are right. When they are completely wicked. Why? Explain this to me. If Tatan Zambi told his people not to compound interest upon interest, and he never changes, then why would he be okay with banks now that do this? And oh, it comes from the most high, it's godly. Because this is what these people who control the banks, who they are themselves, the Jewish people are convinced you that now the so-called commandment they were given not to do is okay. They can go and charge you interest upon interest. Oh, because you're the strangers. But did not the Most High said, don't do these things even to the stranger? See the conflict, conflict there? They're not the people. The Most High finds offense. If he gonna tell them not to do it to yourselves, why would he tell you then? to mistreat the stranger. And it's okay to do that. If we are to set the example that was given as the people of the Most High. This is, what this, this is why they don't want you to know about this book because it points it out. You can't, the people who came after did more ungodly things and the Most High picked one person out of them. This is why when he picked Isolele, how did he do that? He picked the righteous bloodline. About, he didn't pick Ishmael. He picked Ansaka. He didn't pick Esau. He picked Yakubi. Okay? But he did, did he go pick the Egyptians and all the other people? That, no. One man and his seed. Okay. And made us an everlasting covenant, an everlasting covenant. That's why the descendants of Abana and Saka and Yakubi, their covenant can never be broken. So the Most High never forgets it, but there must be judgment for disobedience. So tell me this How does the Most High, who are Spanish people for disobedience now love nations that act wickedly. Doing the same thing that he told his nation not to do, it's okay for those. Do you see the problem here? This is why when somebody comes along and starts pointing this out, that there's no way the Most High is going to now say, I'm okay with this because I sent my son Jesus and everything's okay. Your, your sins are saved. Your, your sins are forgiven. That now, if the stuff that he didn't like is now okay to do. Because you're forgiven. That's not possible. That's why when he's coming now, it's about death. It's not about saving, salvation. Those who are already saved will receive their salvation, like, like Paul has said. But it's not going to come in the way that they have been instructing you. Watch. This is from Simon Toko. This is going to prove what Yaya was talking about. The city of Christo, Christ will be built in north of Angola. Wait a minute. I thought the city of Christ would be in the air. We were going to meet him and we're going to come and Paul said say we're going to go up in the air. You see... If anyone comes preaching you another Jesus that we did not preach, this is the problem. I can assure you that the city of Klistu, the new Salama, will be the north of Angola. But which side? Read Psalms 48 too. Okay. 
we can go read that real quick. I think I, I've done this before. Let's go to Psalm real quick, 48.2. And I'm not going to read too much longer. Beautiful the situation, for the joy of the whole earth is Mount Sione on the sides of the north and the city of the great king. So the northern side of Angola is where he's talking about. I believe and I trust that it is true. The capital of Angola is Luanda, but Christu comes, he will live in the capital city, but it will not be Luanda where homicides are refugees. So Luanda is going to be also destroyed. He will build his city in the north, Revelations 21, 2 to 3. This city will extend from Kimbangu, Kimbata, Makela. I was in Makela, Kibokolo, Kinkamantambu, uh, Damba, Tunoso. And the width of the city will be from the river Congo to Ambrizete. Okay, let's go look at a map here. This is not a real detail, I'm sorry. But where he's talking about is in this area. But Kalo, it was up in here. This is the river, there's a river here he's talking about. So it's gonna be up in this region, up in here. Okay. And then, and the new Salem is where the king will be. It will not be a place city. It will be cover seven or eight administrative posts. At that time, the word that Mfumu Yusuf Christu said would be fulfilled in my father's house, there are many mansions. So you've had all these people singing, oh, we go to heaven. He's been building all these mansions up there. But he hasn't been. That's why we keep trying to tell you, go back to Daniel where it says, what happens to you when you really die? He said, when the, when the time comes to the judgment, they'll come up. See, people are lying to people. They don't even know. The spirit and the souls are waiting. You only get to go to the Pemba Kalunga if you truly have the Holy Spirit in you. This is where people have been deceived. The true heaven of Zulu. There, the, 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 the Messiah was coming to build his city. Okay. So people that I die, Jesus, he's going to prepare these places for me. There's differences. There's a kingdom of heart and there's a kingdom below. Okay. If there were so, I would have told you. Many abodes will grow out of the ground like mushrooms in the city of the great king. In the future... In Taya, there will be no stores but warehouses. It is from there that we will be see distributed to different parties. So the most high has businesses, like we talked about. That products will come from ships will, will pass through Lufundu, Vamba, Ambris. The things that will come from Europe passing through Nkori will go to San Salvador. San Salvador, San Salvador is Mbanza Congo. Okay. Right here. So it's passing through it. See, here's Weege. Michaela was like around here, if I remember correct. Okay. Loge, the Valley of Loge, I was there. Okay. Yeah, y'all talked about this. People from different race and nation of the world will, will come to here to reside. Wait a minute. Only the, you hear, you're, oh no, only the remnant going to be the Israelites. No. That's a lie. And in the remnant of nations. There'll be different races and nations the world will come to where to reside. The Portuguese will all also return and pay what they owe us. Masa, yeah, y'all talked about how Spain is going broke. Yeah, because they're now, that, that archipelago, where they were, is now having to start to pay what they owe. The money is coming back like we talked about. They're going to go broke. Okay. Tatanzami willing the Indians, because there's some of who are righteous too, will come and instruct their children. I think that's the mockery when they did the red, the, uh, the orangutan in the movie Planet of the Apes. 
In the north, there will be no stores. The stores will be in Luanda. So, of course, Luanda is going to be destroyed, it's going to be rebuilt. In other parts, there will also be many things that need not know anything of today. All those who stray and then do not want to return, just as the unbelievers will not enter that city, they will be left out. Wine lovers will serve as a wine foreman so that so not to miss drunks every moment. This would be your punishment. This is what happened when you want to be a smoker. It's a good thing that's on white parking glad. If I will also be the same with tobacco friends, the cigarette or pipe will never leave their mouths. They will spend all their time on wine and remain. Okay, so what he's saying is anything that you have indulged in becomes your punishment. If the most high will. Wills it. That's why when uh, Second Esbus is saying, there are punishments for those who choose to live a life of wickedness. Okay. That are affiliated with this. Let's go to. Um, now, Ken, you can choose to believe me or not believe me. But the reality is, more and more of this is going to start to come out. And this is what they don't want people to see. You saw what happened in Italy all of a sudden. Massive changes in their government. You see what's going on here in America. They don't hide this stuff. You see what happened in Europe. Everything is changing, but they're not going to tell you what is really going on. Nothing's going to return to the way it was ever. This is the lie. Uh, what was I going to talk about? Um, we go back to the wisdom of Solomon. Here's this says. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to 12. Let, but let our strength be in the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Let us therefore lie in wait for the just, because he is not for our turn, and it is contrary to our doings, and upbraideth with us with transgressions of the law, and divulgeth against us in the sins of our way of life. So what he's basically saying is these are people who indulge in in wickedness and you know they think they're just in everything that they do but they're nothing but they're weak inside but they're not strong okay they look outside they look like they're strong or they whatever you want to talk about they look good and everything but inside they're full of dirty rags as i talked about what you look like he boasted that he has knowledge of tatan zombie this we we see this all the time and people who they boast about the most high and call himself the Ben Angami, the Ben a son of God. Okay. Well, wait, Jesus is the only begotten son of God. No, but this is what Solomon is talking about. He has become a censor of our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men moon to. And his ways are very different. We are esteemed by him as triflers. He abstained from your, our ways as from filthiness. He preferred the latter end of the just and glorified that he has Tatanzami for his father. So these are what he's referring to. These are like hypocrites, okay? People who, they look at what the, the, the people, like, like Second Ezra says, they love the way. Those who say they love the way, but not in it. And those who actually love the way are considered to be what? trifling feel that oh you, you're not you're worthless to us the, the, the stuff you're talking is garbage oh i know the most high oh i know the most high i know god you don't know what you're talking about but they look down upon them. and this is what solomon's saying and they claim that oh i know the father okay let us then if his words be true let us prove that what shall happen to him and he, when what we shall know, what his end sh shall be. Because the Most High, Yahweh Kongo, when he sees people like this, he's going to show you this person. And I'm, I'm, I have, I'm aware of this. There are some people I have already been made aware of their end. Okay. Because in their minds, they are convinced they have it. No, watch. 
it's going to be it's going to be disastrous for many people who have not understood the fact that religion cannot know the most high okay that in order to know the most high you must be one person who is in love with his way and seeking to do the righteous path always yes I mean, you, you get it wrong sometimes but you stumble that's why he's chast he's there to help us learn because we know we're in a situation where he, we have been taught by those who did not love the way of the most high but now we're convinced we know it for he be the true ben of, of, of Tatan Zambi. He will defend him and he will deliver him from the hands of his enemies. Let us examine him out of the outrageous and tortures. So this is what we're talking about. If the Most High truly loves this person, his enemies will run away from them. They will be delivered, okay? They will not have the problems that many people, okay, oh yeah, look what happened with uh, Toko. He had many enemies, but yet he was always delivered from them and they even couldn't kill him. Wait, how can this be? Kimbang was the same way. That's what most I say, and those who are hidden from their enemies. People don't even realize you are hidden from your enemies. Many people don't know. Okay. Let us examine him by outrages and tortures that he may know his meekness and try his patience. Because you have to understand, you're going to go through a whole lot of stuff. Let us condemn him to, to most shameful death, for there shall be respect unto him by his, own, by his words. These things they thought and were deceived from their own malice blinded them. This is why they don't want this scripture known, because what this does, it shows you when you are, are boastful and proud, when you are uh, claiming things that really aren't true, you're going to be exposed and the Most High is going to destroy you in the worst way. And that is why nations like America, Europe, uh, England, and France, and all the different places, they cannot possibly think that they're going to be spared. When Solomon's telling you right here, the Most High does not like people who act the way that we're acting at all. Oh, he loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Okay. That's the doctrine of demons. Because if the Most High loves everybody, then that means that everybody has to be saved, right? No. A remnant means a remnant. If the Most High truly loved everybody, then why were there only a few people on the ark? You've got to understand, listen to what's really being said when those are preaching. The scriptures contradict many of what these preachers are preaching to you because it says the Most High hates sin and he hates wickedness therefore those who live in it cannot be saved oh but i have jesus jesus has oh, he counts he counts what did Isaiah say not everybody who comes to me that says lord lord will i answer did not do this did not cast out demons did not do these things I don't know you. Get away from me, you worker of iniquity. So there are people who say, oh, I know Jesus. I know God. And yet the Messiah himself is saying, I don't know you. So then how can it be that he loves everybody if he's telling you to get away from me, you worker of iniquity? This is what's coming, people. The work of the Most High requires us to be truthful with the fact that you will be reprimanded. 
despite the fact that you think that you will be saved. Because if you choose to continue to believe the gospel of those that come through the church of the Laodicea lukewarmness, which is now one assembly again, and they're still following it, you're going to find yourself left out. We have already said, the Most High taught us not to follow the ways of the heathen. And yet, heathen practices are readily accepted by the whole nation, the whole world, as okay now. Heathen practices are even being justified. And when you go and explain it to somebody, that's not true. That's not possible. No, that's a lie. They, 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 they did this. Why? Because if they admit that you're saying is true, then they know they have to admit, I messed up. And people will not do this. This is what the, the scriptures say this. Many will, will never come Go back to Jeremiah verse 51, when he said, we will pray for Babylon, but Babylon will never admit their faults. Yes, people with the Babylonian mindset will never admit their Babylonians, even when you show it to them. This is the concept of what Solomon is showing. You can show people all day long. Wait a minute. Y'all don't even see what's coming. Y'all, you can do this all day long. But what did Uzziah say? Hey, if they don't hear you the first time, keep on stepping. Leave them there. There's a script that said, if they want to stay ignorant, let them be ignorant. That's fine. Hey, that's why I tell people, I don't have time to sit here and, and, and tell you a hundred times about this. My job is to expose. You don't want to believe it? I'm going to keep on stepping. I'm going the other way. Have a nice day. Nice to know you. Because the reality is the Most High has said it many times even to me, don't waste your breath on ignorance and foolishness. Because if they want to continue to think, when I have given them the reprobate mind, when I have given them a strong delusion, if they want to keep believing, let them. You have already said to them, this is it for you. This is not the way. You don't love the true commandment. You don't really understand what's going on here. And yes, they can still be righteous people and, and do righteous things. But what is this? It says, if you break one, you break them all. This is why the, it makes it clear. You cannot eat at the table with devils and the table of the most high. At the same time, you can't do it. You're either going to walk his way and love it or walk on the other side. You can't, but you have been convinced in this world that doing both is okay. That's the way the devil is still doing the same trick like in the garden. And I had to learn this the hard way myself. Oh, no, he's not going to do nothing to you. Oh, you keep doing that. You're okay. He still love you. This is what we don't understand. Many people are having bad things happen in their life because they choose to live a lie and believe in a lie. Why? Why would the creator who loves you who loves you, if you have repented truthfully and have returned and you love the zombie, why then 
would he continue to curse you? With all kind of things, go to Deuteronomy 28 and, all, and the other curses he brings. Why would he do that? Now the curses are going to come from those who wish ill against you because they can curse too. But guess what? They will also be dealt with two, double fold. That's why he said, by the same measure you judge, so shall you be measured with also. Because it says, you can say things with your mouth that can hurt your brother and sister and bring death upon them in the spirit. That's why he said, if you say that you hate your brother, you have killed them already. Okay? But their spirit will live on in that spirit, in that death. Because the Most High will pick them up from that. That's the righteous death. But you who have cursed and you're not living righteous and you're not clean, watch what happens to you. Many people are going to find out the hard way. I'm almost done. Hebrews chapter 2. Therefore, we ought to give the most earnest heed to things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Oh, so what is, what is even, even in the New Testament, they're telling you, you can still lose it. For if the word spoken that my Maliki was steadfast, and every transgression had this been received, a just recompense of reward. And he's talking about the ones that left their, their posts and went with the dragon. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at first began to be spoken by the infumal and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? That the zombie also bearing them witness, that's what um, Tatola, tato, not, not, uh, and zombie not Tatola, both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gift of the monster according to his own will. For unto the Malachis has he not put in subject the world to come whereof we speak. So this is what you need to understand. The righteous Malachis become subject to those who are more righteous than they. So then how can a person who refuses to let go of unrighteousness ways be above righteous angels if you're still doing the same thing like what happened with Adam and Eva? The snake come in there, oh yeah, you could do this, you could do that. Trust me, I'm not saying that I don't have, I have the problem. We do, we know. Because here in this system that we live in, this is what we face every single day. And it's hard because you still have those who think they can eat from the cup of devils and eat from the cup of the Most High. It's still okay. It's not. It's not okay. And you got preachers out there doing it too. Preaching this. I saw this even today. Someone said to me, and I knew they didn't understand what I was saying, but they're convinced that they know. Everybody talking about, oh, go get your blessing. You can't get your blessing if you don't really understand what it means to walk in righteousness. You can't just assume that you are. You have to know what that means. Assumptions always get people destroyed by the most high. And that's why this world will now be in, in, in be killed from all the assumptions 
many people in this world keep making about who they worship. That's why Uzziah had to say, you know not what you worship. We know what we worship. And that is the truth even now. Many people don't know what they worship. And because of that, they will experience the death that second Ezra was talking about. Ezra was talking about. I know that's not his real name, but you know, we're going to experience that death. Like the people, when he said that even after the flood, the people were worse. And that's what we're doing with today. Everything is worse than what happened before. So now then, how can you say, I'm saved if you're still doing things worse than the people before the flood? And you don't even, that's why they won't teach that. What were they doing? People, the minute people put out Jesus, Lord, God, Allah, whatever, you think everything is good. Just because they say it doesn't mean that they are in righteousness. This is the ignorance of the world. But when we say Tatanzambi, Yave Congo, oh, you're speaking a foreign language. Oh, you're Sonini Nanini. Oh, what is that? We don't know those things. And even there, the those who speak this, they're still not righteous either. Watch. Just because somebody said they know Simon Toko, Simon Kimbango, Simon Party, all the different people, or they, they know uh, the righteous elders, the, the, they know the, the, the ways of the Most High. Yes, the way that you hear the, the people in Congo singing it all the time. Just because they do doesn't mean I seen, I saw an entire song. They speaking about Tatan, singing about Tatan Zombie. Every Freemason gesture is in the song. Everyone doing the gestures of Satan singing about the Most High. Every last one of them. So then what do you think the Most High is going to do about that? This is when you get bad shepherds leading the flock astray. Hey, the reason why they're signaling is because they know they're the real people, but they're praying for the other people who are not and making you do the same thing. Watch and learn what Tatan Zombie is going to do to those who are the imposters. Their day is up. It's coming. He's lining them up. So the way of the Most High and his work is to help you to understand. In order to know, we're going back where we came from. And that's where we're going to be. And it isn't where you think we came from, from what you've been taught. As, as where I told you what I just read to you is where we're going. If you don't want to believe it, hey, that's on you. There's many things that I have been shown in secret that I don't discuss here on, on, on this channel. And the, re the reason being is because the Most High must love you to do the same. I'm not going to come out here and preach everything. Did Obana do that? He revealed, did Isaiah come and start teaching all his secrets to people? No, he did not. He said you had to be what? Worthy. This is how ignorant people have become. The disciples went out and they had to pick those they were worthy. This is the mistake of many people who believe they're pastors. You think everybody that walks up in these churches are worthy of the power and the truth of the Most High. You're full of it. And this is how the world has been deceived. Not everybody is worthy to know the secrets of the Most High. Not everybody is worthy. Does that mean you show hatred? Of course not. You can still love people, but not everybody can be the same. And this is where we had our problem as a people. We were angry about that. Why? Why can't I have what he has and what 
No, you got to understand each person's gift works together. You're not supposed to be pointing fingers. And this is where we got in trouble. Remember the people who we are. And this is our people who did this, not theirs. That story about Yosef, you going to Kemeta was about Banabetu of Isolele, not no Jewish Israel, nothing. Not no Esau Edomite, Ashkenazi, nothing. That was about Banabetu, Isolele, 12 tribes. Lubi, which is what you call Reuben, they changed the name, Lubin. That's why the Luba people, the Luba people are Reuben. Yaounde, Magdana, the tribe of Dan, all those, okay? The tribe of Yosefu, we have them. Okay, Benyamu, okay, understand this. Those brothers who got upset were Bantus. That's our problem. We, they got jealous of Yosefu and they went and put him in Kamata. And this is the same thing that happened 500 years ago in the kingdom of Kong. Same thing, all with jealousy. Oh, most I said, get up out of here. It was done another way when the king went and gave away the gifts. Okay, but realize this. The true repentance, the real, real repentance of knowing what that means is what gives you the key to the most highest love. And when he starts to love you, then that's when the blessings will flow. Why would he deny a child blessings if he has the love and you love him? This is what the world doesn't understand. If the world truly loved the most high, that's why he has to keep giving over what belongs to us to them. But he's not doing it in, because it's because he loves them. It's because of the jealousy. As Paula said, but they're not doing it the righteous way. And Satan is leading many astray with that. That's why now what they took, they have to give back, even the very little that he gave. Remember he said, because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing anyway. And even our own people are in the same position, how we treat one another. You don't even know. People being stingy with, the, with their wealth. You'd be saying, watch what's going to happen with that. The stinginess of wealth is going to kill a lot of people's spirit. And you're going to see why. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to end here. Uh, I want to go and, and show you a, a Kikongo word real quick of destruction. And I'm going to put it in context. Because this is what we're talking about. The prophecy regarding destruction of Solomon clearly destroys that Yepoah as Tatanzami, who causes his people to know new things before they began to spring up. Isaiah 49 2. Okay. Umbi Kudulu, Ya Metala Kufwa, Ya Yerusalemi, Kimonisa, Puelele, Nde Yepoa, Kele Nzambe Yina, Kesongaka. Bansadi na yandi, mambu yina tasalama, ntangu yo me ba ntetebe. Yesaya, eh, Yesaya. See, they had the similar name, Yesaya and Yusu. Yusu. <laughs> that means Mosai saves. His spirit was, the Messiah spirit was in him, by the way. Okay. So, you know, this is the thing that we got to understand at this time. The fun and games are now over. If you haven't been paying attention, things are starting to come unravel. And people aren't paying attention. They, they keep doing what they want to do. Oh, yeah, it's going to keep happening. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Until one day, bam, I call you, going to get hip side of the head. And wonder what happened after that. Those who know you're not going to get hit upside the head, you're going to be a part of it. You're going to be where you need to be. But those who don't know, they're going to get hips out of the head, just like what happened. And they're going to realize it when it's too late. It's going to come out of nowhere. Okay. 
I want to see in either in a way that y'all become taller. Oh, sorry. All right, so like, like I'm saying, people, you know, this this stuff is never going to end until the time of salvation is complete. And the reality is those who think they have it, you better keep working hard. You better keep doing what the most I ask you to do and you better finish it. Because that's how Noka, Noka was saved because he finished what the most I asked him to do. Imagine what would have happened if he didn't finish. There, there, that's why he even said in the book of uh, Luca, I believe, when he talked about the banquet, there were those who were going to be called to do their work and be invited to do their work. And they're going to say, no, I got other things I got to do. They're not going to finish and they're not going to get in. The people who have been called to do things and they're doing it their own way. Like I said, the most I'm going to tell you, hey, I didn't tell you to do it like that. Watch. There are people going to find that out too. You don't follow instructions. You don't, you don't, you're going to get, you're going to get hit. There's many people that are following instructions. All right. The Sambalolo, Zola Kringi, in a way that you have the Congo Vitwala, Ingita.